Hi guys, this is Frank, and I'm here to talk about the Hourbox app. And uh, to get started, first you have to turn on the Hourbox. And once the Hourbox is on, it will flash a Bluetooth sign. And that's when you go to settings, Bluetooth, and pair with the Hourbox audio. And that will sync with the audio Bluetooth chipset inside of our box. The next thing is to download and get the our box app, which I already have it here. And once you open the app, you will sync with the uh, our box light, and that will control the light panels. Once you got it all working, you will see uh, the first page, which is clock, and uh, it will show you the time. It will automatically sync with your iPad or your iPhone or your mobile device. So, and this is the temperature. There's a temperature sensor right here on the back of the um, outer box, and it will detect the uh, temperature uh, surroundings, the surrounding temperature. And uh, on this screen here, you can change from Celsius to Fahrenheit by doing so, just at the bottom here. The next screen is just a light. Um, you can change the color at the bottom. The next screen, this one is for the equalizer. Basically, when you play a song, you will see the LED star uh, moving according to your tune. This one is just some random spotting, uh, kind of like the starry light. This one is an imitation for the old school retro, you know, light shows. It looks pretty fantastic if you have like a couple of them all laying going in the same po some same patterns. The next one is a rainbow and the last one is the countdown 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And uh, on this screen here you will notice on the upper right corner there's a, there's a button yeah, and you can turn on and off. What this does is that uh, if you turn it on and then you can shake your um, let's say your iPhone or your iPad and it will change the light from bright to dim to completely off. So if you prefer um, a lower light settings or actually no lights at all, then you can turn this on, then shake your um, device to change the, the brightness. The second menu here is the music. This is where you can play all the songs that you have. Um, unfortunately, on my iPad is completely blank, so there's no song. But uh, if your iTunes has a song and it's on your iPad, then you can select the song play here. Uh, by the way, this uh, our box uh, will also work with the third-party music app. So if you have your Pandora, your um, different kind of music player, you can definitely use it. And don't worry about this part. Now the third menu is the alarm. For the alarm, uh, what you want to do here is that. Uh, the, the first one is sleep. That's for when you try to go to sleep and you want uh, the R box to play certain lights and certain song for um, the defined period of time. So for example, I think I will go to sleep within 10 minutes. Then I will click here, change to 10 minutes. And I'm going to select a scene. This one is just use your default light and music, which means that if you're currently playing back uh, your own song list, then this is the, the, the scenery that you want to select. And it will also use your default lights. So whatever lights that you have uh, on there, so um, you know, basically nothing changed and you only play it for 10 minutes. The next one is the forest. Uh, green lights with uh, uh, the sound of the, the forest. Um, storm and this the ocean wave my personal favorites so once you select the scene then you press ok and you turn on here by tapping this i'm not sure you can hear it but um that's that's all that's the effect now you, you can also turn it off the next part is the alarm that's when you want to set when um the r box wake you up like um, let's say I want to wake up at 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. in the morning then I'll select 10 and I'll go scenery select the scene that I want to wake up with again you can always pick your own uh, lights and song here and press OK and turn on and off right there so that's the alarm pretty simple 
The fourth one is gallery. This is where you can create all kind of drawing. Uh, when you go into gallery, it also have the collections uh, of your previous drawing and also the default one that we provided. Uh, for example, if you go to popular, you can see all the um, picture that we provide. Like the, let's say yin yang, and just press play here, and it'll show right there. And of course, um, there's the flags. It include this includes all sort of countries. So if you want to spend time with your kids, you're know, teaching your kids how to identify the flags or in the country or even the national anthem, which you can you know find the songs online and uh, you can you know have some fun. This is the number and letters, and last one is the animations. This is where you can select the, your own um, hour animations and play it. It's just right here. Of course, too slow. Then change your timer, press it, play again. So pretty fun, huh? That's the gallery for you. Uh, by the way, when you create your own drawing, it will always so show up right here at the local. And uh, that's all your drawing, including the picture and the animations. It will be all right here. Um, the next one is design. This is where I said uh, you can create your own drawing. So I'm just going to do a default picture here pretty simple nothing fancy press play it show up right there and um, at the bottom there's a you can change the color here obviously this is reset this is when I don't want my drawing and I want to reset it this is play this the play means that you want to play it and show it on the screen save is when you are satisfied with your work and you want to save it and you press on save and you can name the picture so let's say I name it here, and it's done, and uh, gallery is just go back to the gallery and see your drawings. So you see, yeah, the one that I just saved right here. And uh, if you want to start from scratch, just press reset and it's all gone. Um, if you said um, you don't like this drawing, you want to delete this, you just need to hold on to it. And as you confirm delete and you just click on done, and that will delete the pictures. The next one is animation. This is the part where you can create your own animation. It's really fun and cool feature uh, that you can show to your friends. And it have uh, eight little frames right here, and that's actually how the animation or each animation is created. It's frame by frame, and um, you can just click on the first one, and then draw a line here. Press done, and that's the. Remember, you have to press done when you finish your work. And select different color. It's right here. And then red. My number three here. And you don't need to do all eight, but you can always do like two, three, four, five uh, color difference and a set of settings. And you can just press play and it will show up right there. And uh, the, le the left button right here is preview. That's when you want to see it right here on the on, the, on your um, tablets or phone. And the save is uh, obviously save it. And gallery is where you can want to go to gallery and uh, look at your work. So just do a quick save here. And you see, it's right there. And of course, you want to delete the animation, just hold and press done and it's gone. The next part is the notification. This is one of the major feature of our R box. Uh, what you could do here is that you select the notifications, and as you do want to pair. Remember, uh, when you have this prompt, you have to press pair. Otherwise, you have to redo the entire setting, uh, treat it as a brand new speaker again. And uh, once you pair, and you can see other option. We got Facebook, Twitter, incoming call, missed call, WhatsApp texting, Skype, Line, and uh, you can customize by uh, active and deactive uh, one of them. So let's write that, and uh, that's done. So that's a notification. Um, and what it does is that, like for example, if I turn on the, uh, right now I have the incoming call. If there's someone calling me on my phone, right on this iPad, but let's say I have a phone and uh, the people is calling me on the phone, this would display the, um, the phone icon letting me know that okay someone's calling me and uh, which I could use the phone to um, to talk or I could use the our box to, 
to, to uh, answer the call which by pressing the play button right here on the second one and the last function is to connect this part um, is for when you have more than one R box let's say you have two R box and you want to connect and pair with a different one then you can you will see it right here but right now I only have one so it will it won't show any other uh, but let's say if you have two and you want to search then you can click on the upper right hand corner and it will search for any other R box next to you and you can select to pair it and uh, that's it that's all the function it does thank you for your time I hope you enjoy